Hey, what's up everyone? I am Torvald Uruz and today I'm bringing you another new bro friendly alpha fit for the Abyss. This time around I'm flying the Punisher, which you can use as a day one character if you've used the referral code to get the 1 million skill points. If you've not used this code and you would like to, check out the description below where I have my recruiter friend code for you to use. Here are all the skills that you'll need to fly this, which you can have trained if you have the 1 million skill points from the recruit a friend code. If not, you'll need to spend the time to train all of these up for fitting, tank, and damage. A quick note to add, if you're looking for people to chat with about the Abyss and you want to talk to them in-game, join the in-game channel Abyssal Lurkers or join the Abyssal Lurkers Discord link below. Both of these are full of good, knowledgeable people that can answer any questions you have about the Abyss. Here's the fitting. It's very simple and cheap. Now, while it's not cap stable, you'll only be running electrical sites with this fit and the weather in this site makes this ship cap stable. It'll make its value back in a single site. For example, here's the loot that I acquired from two sites that took a total of 25 minutes. This amount of loot is typically what you'll see, though there are chances to make a lot more with rare drops such as higher tier mutaplasmids, ship BPCs, and specialization skill books. I'll post the fit down below in the description, so check it out if you want to copy and paste it into the in-game fitting window. The first room I'm going to show you today is the hardest room you'll encounter solely due to the fact that it'll take longer than any other room you'll encounter. You have a total of 20 minutes and this one room will eat up between 6 and 7 minutes of that time. The goal here is to get damage on the battleship as soon as possible while flying at it at an angle to avoid taking direct hits. I like to grab the loot on the way so I don't have to worry about that later. Once you get within range, all you have to do is set a close orbit, get multi-frequency loaded, and watch it die slowly. 20 minutes means you have to complete a single room in 6.5 minutes or less to be successful because if all three rooms take 6.5 minutes, you won't make it out. While this room pushes you to the maximum allotted time for a single room, you're not in trouble of running out of time unless you get three of these exact NPC spawns in a row, which is highly unlikely. To help shave time off these kind of rooms, you can increase your skills to do more damage or bring Pyrolancia boosters to increase your damage for an hour. Next encounter is a tougher one for frigates. The Damovics are Triglavian frigates that deal increased damage over time as their weapon system ramps up and they remote repair each other. Your tank should be fine here, however if you do notice yourself struggling, double click directly away from the Damovics in order to break their range and reset their spool damage on you. You'll notice the constant beams on you, one per ship. If you don't see the same number of beams on you as there are ships, that means you got out of range and successfully reset damage. Get your multi-frequency, stay within range, and bring them down one by one. This next spawn is pretty tough regardless of what you're flying, but as soon as you get within range and get in orbit going, you'll have no issues. Traversing the distance to get to Kribitus Tyrannos is the hardest part. Fly at an angle to mitigate incoming damage. Like the room earlier, I like to grab the loot on my way over as long as it's safe to do so. A cool trick to do with this battleship is to steer it in the direction you want to go. Caribidus Tyrannus is programmed to fly directly away from you, so you can use that to steer her in the direction of your choice. Typically, she'll fly back away from the gate all the way to the border of the abyss. With your ship being an afterburner fit, this can make it annoying and tedious to fly all the way back to the gate after you've destroyed her. What you can do is keep her, keep behind her and steer her towards the gate, kind of like backing a trailer up in a vehicle. Be aware of her ability to hit hard while you're doing this. Keep up that angular velocity and do not sit still. This last room isn't too difficult. However, these drones hurt a lot more than you'd expect. Their application is very good, making you an easy target. Your tank here relies on you killing these NPCs as quickly as you can because you'll notice here that my armor dipped pretty low. Fly away from them and get your ranged ammo, I use standard, to take them out. 
Your tank will be fine after you bring a few of them down, so make sure you're quick to react and kill them before they swarm and destroy you. You can use a suppressor to help destroy them, but you'll need to be quick initially to avoid being shredded. That's it for the T1 Alpha Friendly Electrical Punisher. I hope you enjoy this fit and get to try it out. The income from T1 Abyssal Sights as a brand new Alpha is pretty good, and it's a great learning experience in terms of piloting. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, or you can poke me on the Abyssal Lurkers Discord link below. Something to note, there are changes coming to the Abyss that are currently being tested on Singularity. I have not tested this fit against the new NPCs yet due to the fact that the numbers aren't finalized, but this fit should still be fine once the new content comes out. Thanks for watching and best of luck to you in the abyss.